Oh, because like oil and stuff. They say if you put oil on, like oil can make it. Yeah. I think when you put, oh, yeah. Crap. Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome to the channel. My name is Maya. I know I've been. I've been gone for a while, but as you can tell, where are we at? We're in the bathroom. I've been doing this a lot lately because I'm just goofy, but we're in the bathroom because we're about to do what? A skincare video. Ah, about to do a skincare video. About to do a Okay, so yes, we're back to do a skincare video. And um, if you've been watching the other videos I've been posting on my channel, you y'all have been hearing me talk about my skin. My skin looks like this, my skin look like that, my skin don't look good, it look crazy. It just doesn't look how I want it to look. When you have hyperpigmentation, when you suffer from melasma, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, da, 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 high maintenance skin, as I say I have all the time, it just looks crazy. Like, it just, it's been looking crazy. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing and I still don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try something that I've tried before. And I don't know. With my skin, the more exfoliate, the better it looks. So that's what we're doing today. Today we are doing the Ordinary AHA BHA Peeling Solution. And like my sweatshirt says, maybe I'm a dreamer. I have ADHD or something. I, just, I can't focus. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, I think it says usually use on like clean skin, but I don't see the purpose of using the pill. Well, I, oh, because like oil and stuff. They say if you put oil on, like oil can make it. Yeah. I think when you put, oh, yeah, crap. I think when you put a peel on, because this is like an at-home peel. Y'all need that strong. I'm going to do it on the because that's what my skin looks like this because I don't follow directions. <laughs> it says do on clean skin. And I'm telling you why. Because I know, I've heard before, when you do peels and things, if you have oil on your skin, it can make the product accelerate quicker. Like, it can make it, um, like, develop quicker in that area. So, like, just like if you get a relaxer or a perm, you know, some areas can develop quicker. Like, close to your roots can develop faster. And then the ends can take a little bit longer because it's older hair. I don't know if that makes that make sense. But essentially, oil can cause it to, like, develop or go deeper into your skin quicker but I, my skin dries winter time y'all i don't have nothing on it i'm about to just so anyway so i'm just gonna go ahead and just do it with my skin as it is it's not oily but follow the directions don't be like me i'm not a skincare expert i see it all the time i don't know what i'm doing okay we're just here for the, for the kicks and giggles and you just see you know vibe see what happens so we're gonna go with the ordinary aha peeling solution i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna wash my face and go from there yeah i'm gonna go ahead this is not the way to do it oh this is so dumb do not do it this way i'm just doing this for the internet quite literally i'm not doing the pill for the internet but that whole squeezing your face thing don't do it like that y'all it looks cute ooh, woo, 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 but it's not how you're supposed to do it like you're supposed to put it supposed to follow directions first off and like put it on your hands and distribute it that way because it's I already i already can feel this thing and i have been exfoliating my skin i have been using my retinols um i haven't been doing skincare stuff y'all see i've been doing all types of other other content i mean i forgot how i i'm just gonna put it on my fingers i don't know and go ahead and distribute it that way. I mean, whatever. You know, it's just not a good idea to do it like that. I'm supposed to put it on right. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my skin and let it do its thing. Now, AHAs are good for exfoliation. AHAs, I know a lot of people with darker skin tones say they don't really like using AHAs because they can um irritate our skin and y'all know hyperpigmentation and melasma happens when our skin's irritated but it's just i don't know y'all i don't know what i'm doing i see all the time oh sh see it's about you see don't be like me i just dropped some on my freaking sweater it's not a good idea to do it like this it's supposed to like put it on your hands and, and spread it but this stuff is actually already burning so let me focus and just let it absorb um i think it's leaving on for 10 minutes max yeah, do not leave on longer than 10 minutes. I am going to follow those directions. So I'm going to put it on and let it, you know, just to rub it in. I'm just kind of rubbing it along my face. And like I said, I have high maintenance, hyperpigmentation, acne prone, melasma prone, just crazy, do what it wants to do type skin. <laughs> so I'm try, I like to keep my skin exfoliated because that's when it looks the best. So yeah, AHAs are good for exfoliating your skin. Saying the same things over and over again. So I'm going to let this absorb. Or I'm going to let this sit. No? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna let this sit on my skin for five to ten minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off and be back and show you guys the next step. <laughs> looks so shiny. Okay, it's been uh, five or so minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and I just wanna show you what it looks like. It just kind of absorbs in. Now, this stuff, like I said, it is very, it's not, I, I don't know, my, I mean, unless you're using it like 
too frequently it hasn't burned me or anything but it is strong and i have noticed when my skin starts to look dried out a little like wrinkly because it's so strong and it dry like sucks all the moisture out of your skin but what it does is kind of like exfoliates and sloughs off you know i said that gross word it kind of takes off the top layer and then that's why this is what the whole point of like feeding your skin nutrients let me go ahead and wash this off and bear it back okay so i just went ahead and wiped the peel off and you want to use cool or room temperature water you don't want her you don't want to use hot water at all you don't want to use hot water because it can aggravate your skin further you're already using the peel which is exfoliating your skin aka aggravating it so you don't want to use anything that's going to aggravate it further you want to use something cool or lukewarm water to wipe it off so i'm going to go ahead and wash my face now because you know it needs to be done and i'm using a gentle cleanser the rose water whoa 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 Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel by Good Molecules. And it's very, very gentle. It has a very similar kind of like texture to that peel because like when you put the peel on, you start to rub it in, it has that like, foamy is not the word. It's very slushy, sloshy, sloshy. I don't know the word. <laughs> but it has a similar, like if you rub this in, it looks just like this, how it kind of piles on top of itself. Like it has a very similar texture to that. But anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and I like to get here and kind of like these like limp node, high tension area where we kind of like clen you know clench your jaw. I like to get into those spots and like really kind of work my cleanser in because also I break out here sometimes um, depending on how I'm doing my hair. I think yeah, I think a lot of times I really break out kind of like along the hairline depending on what I'm doing with my hair, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think that's pretty normal for people to break out along their hairline. So you want to make sure you clean that very well wash your face tw um twice a day peeps and i haven't even been doing that that much but you know take care of your skin as much as you can and try to use good products and all that good stuff and good products is going to depend on your skin if you have dry skin you're going to want to look for things to complement dry skin if you have hyperpigmentation you want to look for pro um, products to complement that so those are two conditions that i have and i try to find products that complement those issues but i'm going to go ahead and keep washing my face you want to wash your face for 30 seconds to a minute Make sure you get all the dirt, in my case, all that peel off. Um, it's going to continue to do it, work its magic. You know, let it sit on because it's an AHA. And like a retinol or any kind of um, exfoliating product, they sit on the skin and then they start to penetrate. And then they, they kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but they have lasting effects on the skin. It's not just like something you put on and take right off um, and it does, you don't notice a difference. Um, even though they are rinse off products, they are very strong and that's the whole reason why you put them on and rinse them off so they don't tear your skin up. You know, it's all about doing things consistently and frequently on a regular basis. That's how you start to notice differences in your skin. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue to wash this off. Like I said, this cleanser is very gentle. It's not burning my skin. I don't like to use products that burn my skin. Now I do. And when I say that, I mean so more so like um, cleansers or like um lotions and po you know things like that that burn your skin because that just means more than likely um irritating your skin if you already have hyperpigmentation um, and dark skin just in general we're prone to like getting reactions that are visible in darkness from those types of um products that can irritate our skin so anyway let me go ahead and it's been a minute let me go ahead and wipe this off and i'll be back for the next step Okay, um, so I went ahead and washed that product off my skin. My skin already looks like better. <laughs> of course, like y'all just y'all see what I'm talking about, right? It's just so discolored. Like it's fine, whatever. Like my I will say the texture of my skin has been good because like when I put makeup on, it looks flawless. But then when I take it off, it look alright, but it don't look flawless. Like I want flawless, which is impossible. But we're gonna keep. You know, give me some goals. Give me something to work toward. Um, so, yeah. I um, and I just washed that off with lukewarm water again. Uh, my skin's looking good, feeling good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put nutrients back into it. And I also am going to touch on this. So, as you saw the title from this video, the Muesli, um, this is a, um, a combination that I used before to help brighten my skin up. Um, and this is, like, a good way to kind of hack the Muesli cream and, like, brighten your skin even more because I've been... 
I've heard, I haven't been told, but I've heard that when you use AHAs or retinols or anything that kind of like take the top layer of your skin off essentially and allow products to penetrate deeper, anytime you use something like that in combination with a hydroquinone or a brightening treatment, it allows it to work faster and quicker. So doing that peel and using this hydroquinone um, on top right after, when I tell you, I kind of did it, no, I used the peel and then I used this and I started, I was using it consistently. I noticed a difference. It definitely, I mean, like I said, I'm not an esthetician. My cousin actually is getting her esthetician license, so I'm, I'm excited for her to do that. I'm excited for her, her to do that and maybe she can give me some information when she gets that together and she can let me know what to do. She said she wanted to have a skincare party here too, so we're going to probably do that at some point. But, um, let's go ahead and tone. Someone told me licorice is an irritant. Just like tea tree and all those essentials. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But I will say it's pretty gentle. Like, I don't really notice it doing anything. Pure my skin, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to help with brightening. So that's the reason that I got it. But it's, I don't know. Sometimes I just trust, like, Korean skincare is supposed to be good. So I'm just like, okay, I'm sure it's good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I've told you many times. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let this toner absorb into my skin. Toners are to p balance your pH. It says licorice pH balancing cleansing toner. That's what toners are for. I said the way I say toner is so funny. It's like toner, toner. Um, they're meant to bal balance your pH after you do after you wash your skin because you, your pH is supposed to be at like a neutral or something like three, three. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. But it's supposed to be at like you know at like a neutral. I'm gonna go with threes. I don't know, but it's supposed to bring your pH back, you know, back to a normal level after you wash it. Now that toner is water-based. Um, based. In between applying products, just be, you know, I have heard it's best to wait five minutes, five, five, five minutes in between applying the next product to give that one time to absorb fully. Um, Cause like I said, that was a water-based product. It pretty much is already absorbed to my skin. Um, so in the toners, I don't usually wait that long. I let it sit on and I go to the next step. Now, since I just took all that moisture out of my skin with stripping, I'm gonna put it back in with my rosehip oil. You know, I love this rosehip oil. This is from Ulta, and I'm also gonna use this one. I love this. I think I talked about this before. I don't know when the last time I showed this in my prop, my channel was. This is the ordinary pycinogenol water-free, high potency antioxidant formula. Antioxidants are good for your skin, fighting off free radicals, which can cause wrinkles, y'all, hyperpigmentation, breaks in our skin barrier, all the bad things that we don't want. That's what um, antioxidants kind of fight against that. Um, I've heard that they build like protective layers over your skin, kind of, and they kind of help. I feel like I heard they help bridge the gaps. I don't know if that's correct. If, if you know better, tell me down below in the comments. I'm not, I'm gonna say it again. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, so huh, I, I like to um, put a few drops of that. I love this stuff, it's so good. Um, when I was doing this to spare a systemine, which is how a lot of you guys find me, found me originally, when I was doing this a lot. This pycinogenol and the rose tip oil and my colloidal oatmeal cream were the only things that really helped my skin to like not feel irritated because I was like on it. My skin was looking good then too, but it was, I don't know. I feel like it wasn't really sustainable because I felt like it was mostly just drying my skin out and stripping it. So I was like, I can't keep doing that because like it's drying my skin out too much. Like I don't want my skin to be, oh lord, don't fall. I don't want my skin to be super dry. Like I need to find something, a better fit. So anyway, but I did really like to use the rosehip oil especially now that it's winter it's cold outside oils are your best friend for me if i don't put an oil on my face before i go outside especially really any time of year especially during the winter you talk about dry my skin feels so dry i hardly put my oil on my face before i go outside in the winter time so yeah i'm putting uh, i'm gonna put that on to my colloidal oatmeal cream <laughs> i'm gonna put this on with the two oils i just put like literally like a penny a dot, like a little dollop, not very much at all. I put that on all together. It is very oily, um, but it does uh, moisturize my skin very well, and it also really helps everything to sink in. Because also, when you are using um, exfoliating treatments, it's like again, skin, everything is a fine, a fine balance, a fine dance, right? Y'all know I have that shower cap, shower curtain up. The other door broke. Watch the video; it'll be up. Actually, I don't think I put that up yet, but you'll see. It. Anyway, so. Um, it's a fine balance when it comes to skincare. You have to keep your skin moisturized, and you also have to keep it exfoliated, and you have to keep, you know, keep using your treatment, your treatment products, 
and when you put the moisture on it also helps that um, helps the treatment product to absorb deeper into your skin as well so I'm gonna let this sit on my face for five minutes let it absorb as much as it can and then we'll come back and do our last step which is just the muesli the muesli spot cream and that's gonna be it for the night okay y'all so it's been five minutes or so since I apply all my oils they're getting into my eyeballs which do I like to keep my eyes moisturized too because like there's points in my life where <laughs> my eyelids will be so dry, like I'll get eczema on them and stuff. Like even my neck, I haven't gotten eczema in a long time. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's because I've been using the rose hip oil. I've been using oils a lot more, like skin oils. And that's really helped to keep my skin hydrated. Um, or not, people say oil doesn't hydrate, whatever. It's been helping to keep my skin, um, my skin barrier moisturized. So like water moisturizes, right? Oil is occlusive. It kind of like holds things in. So that's a tip for anyone that has eczema. You know, anyone, you you know, kids, whatever that you have that suffer, suffer from eczema, oils, use skin oils. They really help. Yeah, after you wash, after you wash, wherever you have um, the eczema at, you can put some oil on it. You know, wash it, moisturize it with your cream and put some oil on it. You'll be good over time. Again, things take time. Anyway, I got off on a tangent. Let's go ahead and apply the Muesli Spot Cream. I'm going to use like two pumps. This stuff is very strong. I'm focusing it. This this part's here that just irritate the crap out of you. And it's so strong that it can look, I can start to notice redness. Like, I don't want my skin to turn red because that's like, that's not what I want. Okay, I just want it to even out. I just want my skin tone to be more even. So, yeah, this is the last step. We're going to go ahead and apply this. And I'm really done for the for the night. So yeah, I gotta focus right here. This thing on y'all see y'all see I'm talking about this little random skin tone spot in the darkness. So anyway, that is pretty much it. And I also like to focus it along my jaw, like cause I have like discoloration here, all this and like spotchiness and stuff. But yeah, that's the last step in the skincare routine. So. Yeah, I'm pretty much done for the evening, and that's all I'm doing for now. I hope that does help, and I'll be back to show you guys updates and whatnot um, over time and show you what it looks like as I continue on my journey of the skin brightening. And hopefully I'll use this muesli again and give you guys updates soon. <laughs> Let me not take so many breaks from doing my skincare, because that's what helped to build my audience originally. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching me and Carter. If you haven't watched any of our vlogs, please click the little cards will be at the top somewhere, one of these one of these sides. Click the cards, watch some of our vlogs. We're doing vlogmas right now. Um, and it's been going fun. We're having a good time. So again, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time, guys. And like, comment, subscribe. And bye for now.